Oh, wait. So, I've been coughing at night, and I don't want to confess the ghost cough, because we're supposed to be the powerhouse. Um, when I say I don't want to confess negatively, uh, there's things that happen in your life that you can't deny. For example, um, I was born a poor black child, <laughs> and then I look like this. No, I cut my hair like this, so it's more ghost catty. Um, I, you know, I did have so-called the whooping cough um, in the China village where I was born, and uh, you know there was just no advanced medicine or any sort. Uh, I don't want to confess that it almost because it almost killed me. Uh, I don't want to say, oh, I have a weak bronchi. I'm pointing in my chest. This is I don't know the bronchi, the lungs, and the bronchi is like the little bubbles. I go to start talk like this because uh, I'm trying to pitch uh, myself for uh, a stage show. Uh, I don't even know. How, they probably forgot about me. I have not heard from them. Um, I was, I was trying to pitch this idea that I am the mad scientist. Uh, remember Matlin Khan? Remember ooh, the uh, Fall of Luca? <laughs> uh, I'm talking about the Frankenstein. So let, don't let me change the subject. My voice is a little weird. I know because usually I'm like, oh, oh, hallelujah. Maybe it's because it's Good Friday. Uh, so I'm going to make it short because I do want to go uh, to Saddleback and uh, just uh, uh, show my presence and uh, pay my homage to the Lord who suffered and died for our sins. I think that's most important. That really foreshadows everything else. And let me not complain <clears throat> that um, I had been awakened violently at night because now I'm good. It's 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 a uh, infirmity. Uh, I don't understand it. I even asked my uh, producing partner, I said, w was it because of certain things that uh, he done with like a graphic novel, different graphic cards uh, with my image on it, meaning like my photograph on the posters and what have you, uh, where uh, I morph, I morph into a creature with a, um, you know, monster's hand, and my hands were turning red. Um, so no negative confession here, and uh, just be thankful. Be thankful that today, the Good Friday, Jesus suffered uh, such a humiliating and a very excruciating death, uh, trial without any evidences. Imagine that, I, I cannot fathom that, that somebody like me will be able to go through with any portion of, any portion of the humiliation that Jesus had endured. So just for that matter, I should be grateful. Even though, I know what I said, I, I say even though, um, I just personally am getting over a little shock. Um, a uh, director, because I posted on Mandy.com to look for a director for the Ghost Cat. Uh, since that Mick Garris, he expressed that he's probably not going to direct it. I mean, even though he directed a lot of Stephen King's adaptation, uh, maybe he just doesn't feel like we're at that level. At his level or what have you um, but you know things can change so there is a seemingly a up-and-coming director James Brezak I mean I don't know the person very well but he sounded very enthusiastic on the phone and uh, he was going to uh, set me up I, I think he's a director of um, you know low budget horrors and uh, he got some mentions at Deadline, uh, Hollywood Reporter. Supposedly he uh, should be like having bigger breakthrough, but he was very enthusiastic. He said that they just, uh, he was gonna introduce me to Zach Ward. And uh, he goes, if you remember the Christmas story, don't let me talk too fast because, uh, uh, cause I gotta go somewhere. The Christmas story, there was a, uh, 
the red haired uh, sort of a bully guy maybe his name is Scott I don't know it's uh, it's by this actor Zach Ward and uh, who turned a director because a lot of times that is what happens that you know anybody can direct it just <laughs> it really depends on it's gonna look like crap or not you see what I'm saying um, <laughs> No, I mean, just how you tell the story. I don't think directing is easy. You really have to know your stuff, your shots, and how to tell the story. And every shot, it's like a frame. And just imagine that, a 90-minute film, you're probably going to do like double that, 180 minutes worth. And every frame, a six, uh, there are 60 frames. Or oh, 90 frames, I'm sorry. 90 frames, I believe, uh, per minute. So in order to get those 90 frames, I mean, that's very time consuming to direct your shots. It's not just, oh, let's shoot high and looking down like a crane. I mean, those take equipment that cost money. Okay, well, that's that. Anyways, so supposedly I was excited to hear Zach Ward, the boy. Uh, well, if I talk like this, and would you possibly buy some pep is move for me? Uh, that's a character I was gonna do, um, you know, if I do this uh, a gig uh, for, um, uh, I guess, a medical equipment company, and uh, hopefully they will recruit me. I don't know yet, because uh, I, I was supposed to get a call back on this. Now, you know, I designed uh, so many different characters in the past. So, uh, uh, <clears throat> gotta get my voice back first. And I thought this was a genius idea that I play a mock scientist like the Frankenstein. So in, instead of Madame Frankenstein, I will be Blecha, Blecha, if you remember that. Oh, oh, oh. I, can't, I can't do the horse thing. Anyway, before I run out of sunlight, uh, so get back to this uh, uh, Mr. Ward we're supposed to meet. And uh, he supposedly just finished directing a, a really low budget uh, James Hong movie called some kind of uh, Kingdoms or something, Five, uh, five Keepers of the Kingdom, uh, Patsy something. Uh, I don't know for sure because he's not released yet. So I was really dying to meet this person and uh, I sent him a script two days ago and then yesterday he goes, oh. I suppose the script really did not resonate with with his agenda, um, so he canceled on me. That's all, and I was I was like, what the hell? And uh, I called my partner, uh, called Christopher. I go, well, how dare they to offend us like this and to say that our script is not good enough? Our script is great. I believe, I truly believe. Now this is uh, where we really need to find our happy medium uh, which the ghost cat like I was saying to you is a supernatural hero sort of comic book type of movie but it also has a deep reflection unless somebody's offended by me of redemptive story because uh, there is a Christ-like figure who redeems her who takes uh, her, meaning the ghost cat character, out of the darkness of her tormenting abyss, meaning the all the evil had given her all these so-called gifts, really was used for their purpose and to be the divining rod for them, the evil, and this mysterious Christopher Castle is the redemptive power, the greater power, however you call that, the uh, uh, higher authority, as uh, the uh, AA would say. So maybe they're offended because a lot of times the horror folks are really into the bad guys, the evil prevail. In the end, everybody just scream and blush, or now everywhere. You see what I'm saying? Like, fuffa beams. I guess a scary fuffa bean. Uh, I don't know how I got that. Uh, it was like part of the uh, Silence of the Lamb or something. Or, or lamb chop by had last night. Uh, that's it. But we're going to move forward. So what's the, really, the nuance? I don't have a nuance. Uh, I just am praying that I will be healed and I can get on the freaking plane uh, by the grace of God. 
I will be at Easter service somewhere in Boulder, Colorado. That's really the bottom line. Oh, 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 okay. So don't give up on me. I'm just giving you an update on the ghost cat I was talking to you uh, last time about um, the the movie and the movie making and, um, uh, you know, our posters. Uh, the ghost cat posters looking great. Of course you say, well, she's a little obsessed. I have to be obsessed. You have to be obsessed. Just like a football player has to be obsessed with uh, um, his training. He's got to be in the weight room, got to watch everything. He eats, breathes, sex and not sex or whatever. You see what I'm saying? You got to be in the bullpen. So that's the bottom line. Click to donate. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Um, um, you know, this is my little GoFundMe account, and uh, our, our little account is growing bigger by the grace of God. We'll make this movie in no time. So we have one tenth, even when we have one tenth of the budget I, I propose to have, say, we just need another $999,999. Uh, $999, that's all. That's all. So whatever you can do, uh, click to donate and I got to talk like this in order to say some pep tip is <laughs> uh, Yeah, no, uh, click to donate and I can't wait to print some posters out because that is freaking fantastic. The uh, Big Trouble in Little China versus the Raiders of the Lost Ark. That's the title. I mean, that's the genre or the similarity I can compare Ghost Cat to. So help us make this movie.